This is a 2020 Hyundai Ionic, and in this video I'm going to change the wiper blades even though these wiper blades are relatively new and the reason is because these are the blade type and I'm going to swap them for a hybrid type of wiper and these wipers are actually Bosch and they're not very old only a matter of weeks old but I'm fed up of the vibration on them and I'll show you why so if I put the wipers on I know it's a dry screen but can you see the bottom of the driver's wiper there vibrating and rubbing on the screen so if I put some water on the screen it isn't any better when there's water on the screen I've just driven this in the rain and it really annoyed me how much that wiper blade was vibrating and that's because these uh, flat blade type wipers don't have much support along them and the longer they are, which in this case is a 26 inch wiper, which is quite long on the driver's side, they do tend to wobble. And actually, there's rather a lot of play in the fixing bracket there on this one as well. So I'm going to change them. So I'm going to fit some hybrid wiper blades. In this case, these are Hainer wiper blades. They are pretty cheap, but they're good wiper blades. And uh, I'll show you the difference between these and... Uh, the flat blades so these hybrid wipers are a combination of the old-fashioned metal wipers and the modern flat blade wipers so I'm sure you're familiar with these old-fashioned wipers and you've got these um, arms I guess you would call it supporting it all along the blade so there at the end and if it was a longer one there might be two sets of these and of course you've got the same on the other side so that blade is supported all the way along these modern flat blade wipers don't have that because they have a strip of metal uh, above the rubber which is sort of doing the same job but now we've got hybrid wipers and they're combining the old technology with the new technology into one and then they cover it all in rubber so it's a much flatter wiper blade than these old type but if I pull the rubber up I'm not sure whether you can see there, but just there, we've still got metal arm supporting the blade along the length. So it looks like a flat blade, but it's not. It's a combination of this and a flat blade. So when you've got long wiper blades like this, they just work a lot better. So I'm going to swap these two out, even though they're brand new, to these hybrids. So on the Ionic the arms have the hook so that's the end like that so they're nice and easy to change. I've just got to work out how you get this Bosch adapter off first. So these Bosch adapters they hinge up like that and then it goes down like that and there's the hook so the most traditional type so let's throw that away and put the new one on so the new one has this aerodynamic rubber cover on it so we want it going that way and then this is our little adapter which snap in there and then this is the cover that hides the mess so we lift that up put that down like that and then slide that on the blade well, I've just got to put the camera down so it's always difficult doing these things one-handed when you're holding a camera but anyway you got the hook there you slide the wiper on by pushing up and then you've got to push it up until it clicks which I'm going to need two hands to do that so that does take a lot of force pulling the wiper blade up until it clicks because you can see there the metal loop of the metal arm is now within the clip and the two ends of the not clip the adapter have sprung back on the end holding it in place so once that's in place we can then put down a little cover remove the red plastic protection and that one's done and already there's much less play there than those Bosch ones. So let's see what they're like. Let's put the wipers on and 
we're on a dry screen and if you can see the bottom of the wiper arm there I'm not sure whether that's focusing but anyway there is absolutely no juddering at all and we're on a dry screen if I put the washers on they're just working so much better that juddering was really annoying me so these hybrid wiper blades are much better than the flat blade type and uh, a lot of people recommend Bosch you always see Bosch recommended on the forums and things and Facebook groups but I can't see why they're cracked up to be so good because uh, in my experience they're nothing special there's also a lot of fakes as well um, but anyway this one is certainly mounted better and I think it's a much lower profile of adapter and if we compare it to the other side which has still got the Bosch on the the adapter there all looks rather bigger. It could be because this is slimmer, but if you actually look at that flat blade versus this um, hybrid, they're about the same size. So from inside the car, when you're looking through the windscreen, you can see a lot more of this adapter than you can with the hybrid. That hybrid one is sitting much lower on the screen. Well, the arm is much lower on the screen because this depth is much less than that. So I'm going to change this one as well and that one came off very much easier. Just be careful don't let these arms spring back because they are sprung loaded because if that hits your windscreen too hard you can crack your windscreen. So while I'm just preparing the passenger side one I'll just remind you on the sizes that you need for the Ionic. On the driver's side it is 26 inches or 650 millimetres and on the passenger side it is 18 inches or 450 millimetres and if you want to buy these particular um, Hainer ones I'll put a link to them on Amazon because I'm sure you can buy these on Amazon. I buy them direct from Hainer in bulk. I've been using their wipers for some years now and been very pleased with them they're good wipers for the money and uh, as I've shown you here better than those Bosch ones so I'll just show you this one again so you have a profile here which, which is the rubber covering the wiper mechanism so I want that at the top because the aerodynamic effect is pushing down the wiper there so you want that that way up rather than that way up and then this is the adapter which fits the hook arm so we have to snap that in and we want it that way round and then this is just a plastic cover which hides the adapter there and obviously if you had different types of ends you would have different types of adapters and that's it and then we can slide that onto the arm which I'm probably not going to be able to do one-handed. Let's see. Yes, I've managed that one. So once that's clicked in, you then push that down, which expands the cover, which makes it all uh, grip nicely, and then remove the protection, and that's done. So I've got a journey to do this afternoon, um, probably three hours of driving or so, and it's a bit of a miserable day today with a bit of drizzle so that's why I'm changing these wipers because um, I could just tell they were going to really annoy me so anyway there they are on a dry screen very quiet no juddering at all whereas the other ones would have been really juddering and on a wet screen maybe even better so yeah a huge improvement so that's it for this video. If you found it useful, as always, please do click the thumbs up button. That really does help. And if you want to know more about the Hyundai Ionic Electric, I'll put a link in the video description below to a playlist where you can see other videos that I've made on this car. And if you're not already, please do subscribe. That makes a huge difference as well. And uh, if you press the little bell button, you'll get notifications when I upload a new video. And uh, that it happens on a Wednesday evening and a Sunday morning every single week. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next video.